Hey, howdy. Ken Steele, the ethical fisherman, coming at you from Tampa Bay, Florida, in line for some gorgeous weather and some great fishing. And a special treat for us today, first time fisherman, Mike Montoya. Welcome, Mike. Thanks so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Let's go catch some fish. Let's go be with some fish. <laughs> Now, in order to attract fish to the boat, I prepared a little treat for them. Well, like chum or something, right? No, cornflakes. Why well, didn't know you could use cereal as bait? Well, you've got to get inside the fish's head. Now, they're swimming around all day, burning off energy and calories. What are they looking for? Smaller fish. Carbs. Did you bring anything for us to eat? I brought cornflakes. Now, if you look around, you'll see we have red snapper, grouper, sea bass. Oh, I can't wait to catch, kill, and eat these fish. <laughs> Hold on there, fish Hitler. I brought you out here to teach you about fish affirmative action laws, where red snapper and grouper can go to the same schools, even though they hate each other's music. You are a fisherman, right? I don't see any fish. Can, can we please turn on the boat and move to someplace where there are actual fish? Now, as you know, the engine leaves an oily residue on the surface of the water, which is why we drifted out here in the first place. So I'm gonna leave it up to Mother Nature to take us where she wants, which right now is here. Okay, well, can I at least have a rod and a reel? Oh, sure, how'd you like to get hooked through the cheek? Now, we're gonna fish naturally. Okay, and how do you do that? I've got an invitation written in fish speak. I'm gonna throw it in the water, and if the fish wanna join us, they're gonna jump on board. Okay, so the fish are gonna jump into the boat. For a fish party. Look, your fish part is not happening, bro. Uh, is there another way to do this? Sure, we can wait for the fish to float to the surface. Well, don't they only do that when they've... Passed, naturally. Mm -hmm. Right. So your method of fishing would be to wait for fish to just die of old age and float to the surface of the sea. Right. And, and while a fish that died from old age or fish cancer might not taste good, it feels better in your heart. And it, right there, mackerel floating at the top. I right see there. That. See it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right, we just gotta get there before the gulls get to it. Hopefully the current will take us to the mackerel. Ah, uh, just turn, uh, turn on the boat. Damn, 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 damn. See that? I got it. Yeah, that's the trouble with gulls. You know, you, you sometimes they're faster than floating on the water. Yeah. yeah let's see if I can fly down a Coast Guard ship. Now let's talk for a moment about fish safety. The biggest threat to fish is human beings like Mike here. And what do you plan to do about that? What I like to do is kill the human I'm with, eat their body for the nutrients, and cut up their skeleton with a bone saw. You can't do that, man. That's insane. You, you mean me. Yes. Yeah. And this isn't an actual TV show. I, that makes sense. It's not a TV show. I like to document my crimes for my own gratification. Thanks for having me, I guess. No need to sign off. It's not a TV show. <laughs>